Prince Harry faces deportation and could be potentially barred from applying for the U.S. citizenship because he has been outrageously and openly bragging about his drug use. The Heritage Foundation is now pressing for inquiries into Harry's visa application and they insist that it must now be released to the American taxpayers so that they can understand whether Harry declared his drug use to the immigration. Mike Howell, the director of the Heritage Foundation, insists that these inquiries are for the public's interest. In his memoir spare, he revealed how he first used cocaine at the age of 17. He also admitted to hallucinating during a celebrity field event in California and smoking cannabis after his first date with Megan. He also spoke about his positive experience with psychedelic drugs in his recent interviews with Dr. Gabo Marty. Unfortunately for him, drug use and drug abuse in the United States, in most states, is illegal and it is punishable by the law. So U.S. officials can stop foreigners who have committed drug offenses entering the country even if they have never been arrested or charged by the police. Under U.S. rules, Suspected drug abusers applying for a visa may be required to answer additional medical history questions and also to take a medical exam to prove they, that they are not still a drug abuser before being allowed to enter the U.S. In high-profile cases where celebrities who are known to have taken drugs want to come to America, they have been invited to the U.S. Embassy in London to take a drug test. Pete Doherty was famously banned from the U.S. due to drug-related arrests. In 2014, Chef Nigel Lawson was banned from flying to the U.S. because she confessed to taking drugs. So, is Harry above the law? Because Harry has, I can say proudly, written in his book, in his memoir, Spare, like there is evidence there he act that he actually wrote the book. And he declared how he's been experimenting with drugs as as early as 17. And he went on to taking even mushrooms and other like illicit drugs, you know. And he's still walking around free. Is it because he's a prince? Or what?